Howdy, y'all. Thanks for stopping by for another Harvest and Taste. Today, we are going to be harvesting and tasting the Boxcar Willie Tomato. See you in a minute. <music> Okay, welcome back, y'all. Dale here. Chuck here. Okay. Today we are uh, tasting the Boxcar Willie. So, Chuck, you want to tell them a little bit about the Boxcar Willie? The Boxcar Willie is an indeterminate tomato. They're usually a little bigger than this, but this one ripened up, so we're going to be eating it today. It was too beautiful not <laughs> to pick. It's named for the old-timey country singer named Boxcar Willie. I take it you would know that. Well, I would have said Willie Nelson, but I think there was a Boxcar Willie before Willie Nelson. But go ahead. It also says this tomato is as classic as it comes. It will produce uh, pounds of six to eight ounce tomatoes, which actually this is probably about four ounces. So it's not that much smaller. It has a good balance of sweetness and acidity and makes a truly classic tomato flavor. This thing also says it's great for uh, spaghetti sauces, making ketchup, or even a good old tomato sandwich burger or right off the vine. So we're going to give this a taste and see if they're right about that. Well, I'm ready. So get to slice it. It's an interesting shape for a tomato. It's a beautiful tomato. The coloring, the ribbing very meaty inside and again still babysitting a dog so y'all overlook you know the barking uh they're playing with our dogs now so yes and it's been a while since we've had a puppy and whew, and this puppy is the size of a camel it's a golden doodle so okay well, then I guess let me grab one pieces. and give it a taste. Mm -hmm. That's a classic tomato taste. I could see where you can cook it down really well. It has some acidity, a lot of sweetness. Could have a little more juice. I don't know if that's because it's an early tomato and the rest will have more. Yeah, I try to when I'm doing this judging ask myself, based off the taste, would you go through the trouble of starting the seeds, putting it out into the garden? And then taking care of it for all that long till it grows and produces, would you do all of that again based off the taste of that tomato? I'm going to have to say no for Boxcar Willie. I mean, it's not a bad tomato. It's just a plain tomato. Yeah. But who knows? It might make a great sandwich, and it might make a good spaghetti sauce or sloppy joe mix, and that would make us want to grow it again. Who knows? Okay, well that was my, if I gotta do thumbs up or thumbs down, Boxcar Willie's getting a thumbs down from me. So, thank y'all as always for stopping by and listening to us babble, and we will see you on the next video, and Luna says bye too. <laughs> bye bye guys.